In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I use Premiere Pro, CC, Creative Cloud, and Plurize. So, uh, first thing you have, want to make sure you have is that you want to make sure you have the Adobe, um, go to Adobe Exchange and make sure you get the Plurize uh, extension. It's fairly helpful and it's a lot easier. So, I have two things I have this um, video right here, and then I have his audio. I'm going to put down here like this. Once I do that, I'm just going to use my keyboard shortcuts. And you say, you see, it's not, it's not matched up at all. So what I'm going to do is just go under here, Window Extensions, Plurize. It's going to need to save it first. So I'm going to have a dialog. You know, needs to save your project. Yes, yeah, save it. Send it to Plurize. And then once I'm in Plurize, all I'm going to do is hit Synchronize. And there it is. In five seconds, it goes right here. Plurize through. Life is not strong. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit export timeline. It's going to export timeline. And it's going to quit Plurize and then bring it back into a Premiere Pro CC. All right, so once it brings in the Premiere Pro, brings it in, you'll see right here, so it's a couple folders. And then once I look here in Premiere Pro CC, um, I see one. Uh, label that it is synced and replaced and one is just synced so one is just synced so it's down here I like the one that's synced and replaced and then I'm just going to click here hit ripple delete and then I'm going to start my edit Picking up this weight even now, it feels funny. okay and there it is it's right done and I want to make sure that it was uh, synced and it re replaced so I'll rename this one I'll name this one as weight all right so that's how you do it real quick in Premiere Pro CC and Plurize version 3. Take care.